What's up, everyone? What is happening? Okay, I have a very fun game for you guys this time. What I would like you guys to do is go to Amazon and punch up uh, yarmulkes. Look through the yarmulkes, and you'll see some stuff that might be deemed a little offensive. Now, what is a yarmulke? That is the, the traditional head uh, head piece worn uh, um like skull cap, this is a yarmulke right here that Jewish men wear. Uh, same concept as the the kufi that Muslim men, Muslim men wear. Uh, they wear it. Um, it is pretty much symbolic. It's to, to honor God, to remind them that you know you, they put it on their head that there's a God above them. That's the purpose. It's kind of like what I'm wearing now, but only a lot smaller. Uh, I'm Jewish, so that's why I would have a yarmulke in my home, even though I'm not religious. But it is just still something I have in my home. Uh, it is what it is, right? It's almost like, why would a person wear a cross or something like that? And they're not even religious, whatever. And it's just like, I don't know. It's just, you know, it's what we do. Uh, so the same thing with me with this uh, yarmulke. So I was online. I was going through Amazon. I had to uh, order a few things. And then I decided to um, help my coworkers break my balls by going to the sections that sells yarmulkes. I was going to find some of the funny ones, take screenshots, and then text them to my coworkers and say, hey, why don't you guys buy me this for uh, uh, um for Hanukkah coming up, or once you buy it for my birthday, or for this, for that, and we would have had a good laugh, uh, good jokes, because they like to make fun of me. Being Jewish, they always have good jokes about me, so it's always a, a fun laugh. So I'm looking through the the all the, the the selections, trying to find the funny ones, and then I found ones that are not so funny. So they had the LGBTQ one, the the flag one, uh, they had the Bernie Sanders one, they had the the, the resist one, they had Amer make America great again. Quite a few of Donald Trump's. Uh, and then, and a few others, and 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 then I decided to look through the Christians, through the crosses, and I found some crosses that have LGBT on it and stuff like that, the flag, the pride flag, and then I decided to look through the the the, the Islamic one, to do uh, Muslim um, garb, uh, Islamic garb, and uh, you cannot find anything remotely close to that. You cannot find anything that could be even taken disrespectfully uh, at all uh, through the the Islamic one. Not at all. They don't sell anything even remotely close to that. They're very respectful when it comes to Islam. But when it comes to uh, 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 Judaism and it comes to Christianity, uh, there's no need to be respectful, right? Because what are we going to do? We're not going to do nothing. It's not like we're going to do what the, they did uh, in Paris with the Charlie Hebdo when they went there and they, they did what they did over, you know, a drawing. You know, they, they killed how many people? Um, in the middle of the day over a stupid drawing of, of their prophet Muhammad. So what do you think would happen with Amazon if they would sell items or the company if they would manufacture and sell items that could be taken as a disrespect towards Islam? But with Judaism and Christianity, what are we going to do? We're going to do nothing. There's an open market for disrespecting us. You can disrespect us anytime you want. In fact, you have a whole Democratic Party disrespecting us. Uh, going on right now in uh, uh, in, in, in Congress, uh, you also have more anti-Semitic attacks, something like 50% of all uh, bias attacks in America are against Jewish people uh, across uh, uh, California, New York, here in Brooklyn actually has the, the most, the highest rate of uh, bias attacks um, against Jews and also in Jersey. And then of, co of course, what's going on in the college campuses is there's a lot of anti-Semitic rhetoric being spread. Uh, we all know that there's a culture war against Christianity, against the Christians. Um, if you don't see it that way, you must be blind or stupid. I don't know what to tell you, but the left is on constant attack against Christians. That's for sure. Uh, so with that being said, and then I see something like this. It's like you put two and two together. Um, you know, we are under, you know, uh, we are under attack. And it, it is a culture, you know, cultural uh, attack. It's a cultural war. It's not a physical one. They're not uh, going to kick our door down and, and shoot us. Uh, but culturally, they are attacking us, and this is one of the ways they do it. Now, I'm not going to say this is all a big conspiracy theory. Obviously, there's a company involved that makes these items. Obviously, uh, they make them, they sell them, they're trying to profit off of it. Uh, no one got together in a back room to try to come. It's not a conspiracy. They didn't uh, come together and, and plan this out. Uh, they just offered to, uh, I guess, sell the items because the items are there to to sell, and Amazon wants to make money. And I understand that I'm a capitalist, so I understand that the, you know everyone is just trying to profit off this. And you know, if this if, if those items are not for you, just don't buy it. It's very simple. That's the model I've always lived because I've always been a capitalist. Uh, but I can't help to notice that there's only you know, a few religions you can do this with, the rest of them you can't, you know. So, you know, I I'm looking at it like this, you know, if you're not going to respect all the religions the same, then don't respect any of them at all, right? Just just don't, I mean, either you respect all of them or you don't. You don't pick and choose which ones you can have respect for. Now, you might say, oh, well, what's the big deal? It's like, well, the big deal is this. And all of these religions, especially the top five religions, the Christianity, Islam, Judaism, uh, Buddhism, and Hinduism, uh, homosexuality is is a sin according to these religions. So putting a gay pride flag on a yarmulke or on a cross or anything like that 
uh, should be considered as a, uh, you know, by default, it's considered as a disrespect to the religion itself. Even if you can find people that says, hey, I'm religious and I don't think it's disrespectful. Okay, fine. You found some people that said that, but it is disrespectful towards the religion itself because the religion is against that. So uh, naturally, I mean, it's just by default, you're just wrong if you think that that's perfectly okay to slap a, a, a pride flag on a cross and say and think that you're morally right about it. You're not morally right about it at all. You know, normally I wouldn't have a problem with it, uh, but again, it's only being respected. Only a few religions are being respected with it. The rest you don't have to respect. Uh, so that's the whole point of this video for me to share this with you. This, you know, it's a fun exercise to go through Amazon and go through social, uh, uh, through through the internet and see what items that you can buy. Items that are in a a, a complete opposite direction from you know certain things whether it's the lgbtq things and, and and political stuff and this and that and see you know these items and and and, and religious stuff and see how they will they will connect these things together with some religions but they won't with that other religion right that the, the other religion that will lead to death if you do something like that and they they, they are deeply offended um, you know, they don't even have to just worry about acts of terrorism against them for doing something like that. They also have to worry about the, you know, the, the, the self-loathing white liberal, you know, the social justice warrior that will be mad for Muhammad. Muhammad don't even have to be mad at all. You know, he's going to get Becky, who's going to be all upset, you know, because you heard her liberal, you know, heart. And now she's mad because what, you know, how, how disrespectful you are to Muslims by putting a gay, you know, flag on, on, on their kufi or some shit like that. But to us and to the Christians, it's like F us, right? We're, we're nobody anyway. You know, we, you know, we're privileged people and whatever, you know, look what we're doing to other people. Look what, look what we're doing to the Palestinians and look what the Christians are doing to, you know, to these, these people. And you know what I mean? So we deserve it. So, it, you know, it's perfectly fine. Um, it is a cultural war. It, it is. It is just that. Uh, uh, and it is to further demoralize us. That's, that's exactly what this is doing. You know, uh, really what's happening is everyone involved in this is just trying to make money. You know, that's their number one focus, to just make money. There's no other message behind it. Uh, but the the reason they feel so comfortable making this and putting this out there is either because they don't respect us, right? Which is, which is clear that clearly they don't respect us. If they did, they wouldn't do this. They wouldn't make these things. Um, or they have no fear which that is the case as well. They have no fear of, of repercussions for their actions because, you know, what are we going to do? We're being disrespected every day. So, you know, you, you know, in the, in, with the Palestinians, they, they, they just, they'll attack Israel. They'll just lob missiles, you know, rockets right over the fence. And if Israel, you know, retaliates, then Israel's called, you know, they're, they're, they're accused of committing genocide. You know, even though they could have wiped out all the Palestinians, you know, before lunchtime on any given day if they wanted to, uh, but they haven't done that because they're not committing genocide. Uh, but they'll be accused of it forever. You, you even have politicians, uh, uh, you know, bringing, you know, uh, Omar bringing a resolution to, to Congress, uh, uh, um, Rep. Omar from uh, uh, Minnesota talking about the BDS boycott, divert, uh, the divest and sanction Israel to try to uh, help bankrupt uh, uh, Israel because she's, she's upset over you know their conflict with the Palestinians. But you'll never hear any kind of boycott movement towards the Palestinians, right? You'll never hear that at all, right? You know, they'll always be the victims to the left no matter what they do. Um, but we'll always be the, 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 the aggressor. We'll always be the, you know, the, 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 the genocidal maniacs. We'll always, we're always the bad guys no matter what. Um, and uh, uh, being that's the case, you could just openly disrespect us anytime you want. It's okay. It's fine. There's no need to uh, uh, to be upset. There's no need to um, you know to even worry about anything. It's just you know it is what it is. Uh, just keep in mind that you know you're sending these messages uh, uh, on religious uh, religious garments. You know, like where's the decency? Where's the common decency? Uh, it's just, it's not there, but it is there for that one religion. It is definitely there for that one religion. You better, better, you better be very respectful towards that religion. Don't disrespect them. You know, get, stay in your place. You know what's going to happen to you if you disrespect that religion, right? It's those other ones. Fuck them, right? What are they going to do? Nothing. So it's perfectly fine. Uh, I think the whole thing is disgusting. Um, 
And I think something needs to happen. I think somebody needs to say something. I hope this goes viral. I hope, you know, I tweeted this out. It's probably going to go nowhere. But I hope this becomes something. Uh, maybe people start calling Amazon and tell them, you know, stop disrespecting my, my culture, my tradition, my heritage, my religion. Uh, uh, you know, enough, enough already. It's very disrespectful. And, uh, and, ho and hopefully it comes down and they stop selling it. Or even better, start selling it uh, uh, in, in Islamic garb as well, right? Put, put the gay flag on a kufi, put it on a burqa and sell it just like you do to our stuff. And then it's like, okay, it's even Steven, who cares now? You know what I'm saying? Now now, now you have your your inclusion and your diversity and your equality like you love so much. But um, if not, then you cut it all off and you don't sell any of that stuff. You don't put your your, your religious message or, or any any kind of degenerate message on, um, on any religious stuff. You let the religion be what the religion is. You leave them alone. You let them be who they are. There's no need to, 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 to change it. So or to uh, 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 to corrupt it in any way, uh, and that's that. If you're not going to corrupt all of them, don't corrupt none of them, pretty much. So that's all I have for you. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell, and help me grow my channel, and I'll see you on the next video.